Dilations, finding a scale factor less than 10.1b. A dilation can produce a larger figure, an enlargement, or a smaller figure, a reduction. The scale factor describes how much the figure is enlarged or reduced. The scale factor is a ratio. The scale factor is the ratio of the length of the image to the corresponding length of the pre-image. Here we have our pre-image square, and we can see this length is 2. We have our image, and we can see the corresponding length is 4. We have segment A prime D prime is 4, and segment AD is 2. We do 4, 2, 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. We know our scale factor is 2. We have the length of the image over the length of the pre-image. Now in high school geometry, we're going to learn that scale factor is k. Then we'll be solving for k, the scale factor. Let's first take a look at this diagram. We've got a triangle PQR, and we can see we have P prime, Q prime, R prime. Well, we know this is the image. It's got the prime tick marks, doesn't it? And triangle P prime, Q prime, R prime is a dilation of triangle PQR. We need to find the scale factor of the dilation. The first thing we do is we use the coordinates to find the lengths of the sides of each triangle. Now, since the scale factor is the same for all corresponding sides, we can use two sides. We really need one, but the second one is to be sure. We want to compare it to make sure we've got the right scale factor. Well, triangle PQR has segment PR equal to 3. 1, 2, 3. And segment RQ is equal to 2. 1, 2. And triangle P prime Q prime R prime has segment P prime R prime equal to 6. And segment r prime q prime is equal to 4. Second thing we do is find the ratios of the corresponding sides. Now the image values will be on top for the ratio. We're not going to use this longer side of this right triangle. That's the hypotenuse. We're going to learn about that third side in module 12. So now we find the ratios of the corresponding sides. For our image, we have 6 for P prime, R prime. See how I've written the image on top for our ratio? And now I've got the pre-image underneath it. So that's going to give us, since segment PR is a 3, that gives us 6 to 3, which when we simplify it is a 2. And for R prime, Q prime, we get a 4. It's 1, 2, 3, 4 units. And RQ is 1, 2 units. We have 4 to 2, which simplifies to 2. Since we have a 2 both times, we know it's 2. And the scale factor of the dilation is 2. We know the dilation is an enlargement since the image is larger than the pre-image. And the angles are congruent for the pre-image and the image, not the side lengths. Remember, got larger, so the side lengths are not congruent, but the angles are. The triangles are similar. When the scale factor is greater than 1, the dilation is an enlargement. When the scale factor is 1, the image is the same size as the pre-image. And when the scale factor is less than 1, the dilation is a reduction. Here we have square a prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. And it's a dilation of square A, B, C, D. Find the scale factor of the dilation. Now, since we know the ratio is written with the image values as the numerator, we're going to write those first. For square A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, line segment A prime, B prime is equal to 2. It's right here. And for line segment B prime, C prime, it's equal to 2 right here. And the corresponding sides of the pre-image of square ABCD, we have line segment AB is a 6. It's 6 units across. And line segment BC is 6 units. Now we find the ratios of corresponding sides. We've got 2 over 6, 
which simplifies to one third. And we've got another two over six, two six, which simplifies to one third. So the scale factor is one third. And since it's less than one, it's a reduction. So we only need two side lengths of corresponding sides since we know it's a dilation. It told us it was a dilation. And the second side is just to be sure. Oh boy, I hope you're paying attention for this because this is going to come up a lot. So you're going to want to know this. We can find the center of dilation by using a straight edge to connect corresponding vertices and continuing the line. We just continue the line way past the pre-image or the image. So here we have A and A prime. These are corresponding vertices and we continue that line way down. For B and B prime, we continue the line way down. And for C and C prime, we continue it. All of the lines will intersect at the point of the center of dilation. We know for this diagram, the center of dilation is at 2 for x, 1 for y. So let's see if we could put these scale factors into the correct category. Is it an enlargement or a reduction? Here we have a scale factor of 1 fourth. Do you remember the rule? When the scale factor is less than 1, the dilation is a reduction. So this one belongs with reduction. So can you see the other reduction? We have 1 half. That's less than 1, so that's a reduction. Here we have a scale factor of 3. Well, when the scale factor is greater than 1, the dilation is an enlargement. So we know that's an enlargement, and 4 is greater than 1. That's an enlargement. So remember, when the scale factor is greater than 1, it's an enlargement. When it's less than 1, it's a reduction. We're finished with lesson 10.1, moving on to 10.2. We're going to be talking about graphing enlargements. Up here above my board near the ceiling, I have got a dilation. This is my granddaughter when she was young, and she's getting smaller and smaller, or we could say she's getting larger and larger. So a dilation, it's a resize, either larger or smaller. You can see it's right up here above my board. I hope you have a wonderful day and join me for 10.2. Bye.